Hello folks and welcome to Let's Play RimWorld. This is QuickMind. Alright, so what we're going to go ahead and do is just start a new game on this. Um, the updates, there, there have been a fair amount of updates to the game since I last recorded. And they've been fairly important and made the game better. And also trying to get back to that, uh, that old setting. I think it's just... Unfortunately, it's just going to be too much of a hassle for me to get back to. Um, so we're, gonna, we're just going to go ahead and start a new one and go from there. These are the mods I'm using. Um, I can't recall what mods I was using with the other game. But really, this, isn't, uh, this doesn't change the game a whole lot. Um, probably... Like the more vanilla turrets is a fair amount. Uh, the work tab changes it just a little bit. Uh, mainly, I got this just to be able to have more than four priorities. Um, let's see, stack merger is kind of interesting. Um, where you, if you have like multiple stacks that aren't full, they'll start merging them, make more room. That could be nice. Um, Quality builder's nice. Uh, really, that's just more of a uh, quality of life mod where you don't have to manually deconstruct and reconstruct things until you get uh, the quality you want. Hand me that brick is nice. Haulers can uh, bring supplies to uh, where things need to be built. Um, see, I can have, I can fix it. Uh, basically, if something gets destroyed. Uh, blueprint gets put down automatically for it to be replaced. So, uh, this one, uh, some might not like it because it tells you who the refugee is, kind of, uh, some of the things they like. Uh, it just makes it a little nicer uh, to know who you're getting. So, we'll go ahead and start a new colony. Uh, we'll do crash landed. Uh, pretty much, I'll leave everything the same. Uh, I don't really see the need to uh, change it up. Uh, let's do... We're going to turn permadeath mode on. That way it auto-saves and everything. Uh, let's, we'll do... Let's do some challenge. And I've actually kind of liked playing with Randy Random the most. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll give that a shot. Uh, this is all fine. We'll leave it at 30% just because, you know, a lot quicker loading, etc. One of the things that's changed, there we go, uh, we have roads and rivers now. Uh, the roads, obviously, you'll travel quicker on the overworld map. Uh, rivers actually show up in your game now, which can be interesting. Uh, one thing I read that uh, it was pretty interesting is where you put your base um, and how close to these other places you are doesn't really make a difference so like you know putting my base like let's say like right here uh, these two pirate or hostile uh, areas won't necessarily attack me more often or anything it's all just pretty much random however raiding them you know obviously you'd want to put yourself like somewhere in the middle so you can get to them more often. 
if you want to do a lot of trading, you know, somewhere right here would be pretty nice. Uh, the only problem is you would have like very little stone. So you could try to do random site. Terrain. Oh gosh, only 30 days. 30 days of growing, huh? I'm not exactly a fan of that. Typically I like to play with either unlimited or close to unlimited growing. Um, although I guess this could be a challenge. Winter temperature drops down to below freezing. Summer doesn't get too hot. Chances are we'll probably be using a little extra electricity keeping everyone warm. But really, we're not going to have much stone. I mean, we do have some, uh, but typically uh, areas like these will have a lot more stone in them. But I guess with uh, being so close to traders and all that, I guess it might help. Although, technically, we're not exactly friendly with them just yet. We'd have to make sure we were. Well, I suppose we can give it a shot. Go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Uh, okay, so yeah, we are friendly with, uh, with the Outlander unions next to us. So that's pretty good. Holy cow. Oh, they're hostile to everybody. And this tribe's pretty darn hostile. But if you'll notice, you know, these yellow ones, the ones that are hostile right now, they're very far away. But I guarantee we'll still get attacked by them periodically. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to try to minimize randomizing here. Uh, let's see. No dumb labor. That's not the best. Oh, actually, this is pretty good. Well, he, uh, he'd definitely be a good shooter. Uh, let's see. He might end up being our animal trainer and doctor. Because he's just not good at these other things. But having a really good shooter would be nice. Let's give that a shot. Um... Gosh. <laughs> Pessimist and abrasive? Cannibal. Oh, that's really good, though. So, actually, this person wouldn't be too bad. They would pretty much remain happy for the most part, and they could eat human meat. Um, I don't think they get uh, debuffs for not eating human meat. I think they just won't get debuffs for eating it. You'd be really good at construction, growing, and mining. Not much of a shooter or meleeer, though. Um, yeah, I guess we can give this a shot. Construction is going to be really important starting out. Uh, <laughs> no. Let's see. The social is nice. But we need a little bit more than that. We need at least one more shooter.
Oh boy. Crafting, I suppose. I guess we can do this. I mean, definitely not the best setup, but um, I, I don't want to cheese skills too much. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we awake in our cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. Barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Okay. So let's pause. Here's Moody. Um, a kind of neat mod. Let's you kind of see everyone's moods and stuff a little bit easier. Uh, lets you know what they're doing. All kinds of stuff. Check out their thoughts. Their temperature, comfort levels. Skills what they're doing and if any attention's required although I do kinda minimize that quite a bit alright so first things first let's uh... unforbid everything cause we're gonna wanna be able to pick up everything alright so this is actually gonna be a bit more stone than I had anticipated which is good. That's probably a... Uh, what's it called? Danger... Area. Lots of steel. Some silver. Right, so we're gonna have to watch out for the timber wolf. We might want to kill that soon. Didn't quite notice too many predators. Some more steel. Lots of steel real close. To be honest, mining all of this section and all this right here uh, would probably be a good idea. And just making, like right here, a good starting area for my base. Um, Although I guess the only problem would be, like, t down here, if you look down in the bottom left corner, uh, you can see the stats, and right here is a great place for growing. So maybe, maybe actually down here would be a better place for my base, and that way I can use a lot of this for growing. So we have one steam geyser there. I saw one way up north. There's another one. Okay. There's a bunch kind of lining up right here. Here's another one. Okay, there's another one. So, eventually, it shouldn't be too bad getting power. So I guess what we could do is start building down here. Actually, I could even kind of use this area. Uh, use this as a small, I suppose, living area until I get something built. So what I'm going to do is going to make a stockpile. And uh, probably... big one. Alright. So what I'm going to want to do is get everyone moved over there. So you're trigger happy. Uh, and from what I've read, if you have someone that's trigger happy, give them a fast shooting weapon. Um, I, I guess that makes sense. Uh, 
Okay, so we're going to equip all those. Uh, let's see, work. Let's go ahead and start on that. Oh, geez. Okay, that that I didn't want. Uh, this. Okay. Oops. There we go. So that. Um, well, you kind of like it. wrong way oh well okay so now for these specialty things you're definitely gonna want to hunt construction's gonna be last resort uh, let's see do you see you can hunt I usually like to put uh, plant cut on one just to get it out of the way. I think this looks good so far. Oh god, you're gonna be the cook too? Alright, we're gonna need new people pretty quick, to be honest. <laughs> okay, um... Real quick zone, I guess, right here for chunks. And we'll haul these. Structure. Furniture. few beds here and animal sleeping spots there that'll just be really temporary I'm going to have them focus on hauling. Try to get this done real quick. Uh, structure, we need that. And then we're going to want gonna want a roof over this for now. I guess we'll just drag it out to that. So this first day is going to be a lot of, uh, trying to get things organized. Wow, just one square right there, huh? Alright, I guess we'll sacrifice that. Ancient danger, that's what it was. Alright, so what I like to do here is just make a D. That way I know in the future what's there.
right, so I'm getting everyone to bring in like all the food and stuff that's lying around. Uh, steel. Temperature 66 right now. That's a lot of steel right there. Holy cow. So it looks like steel is really not going to be a problem for us. It's going to be nice. to that for now. Okay, so now it's going to be time to make some growing zones. There's... I saw a mod that I'd really like to get, and I totally forgot to get it before starting this that lets you select um, just like like certain qualities of soil. So like if I go like this, it's only gonna highlight what's in, you know, like the good soil that I choose. I suppose I should have looked into that. Uh, so let's go about eight by eight. And another eight by eight. Another 8x8. Eight. Alright, so potato. Let's do rice. I would just set up heal root and just wait till someone gets level eight. But I'm not sure. Oh, I do have level nine. Oh, so le yeah, let's do it. We're gonna need heal root. Start hauling and doing their regular jobs now. Okay. Alright, so we are going to want to start on building our home and stuff. Although, we do have a lot of stone nearby. Let's see, do we have... Production. We do have a stone cutter's table. So what I could do... Okay, I 
it's gonna be outdoors from now, but we'll change that here shortly. basic floor uh, we'll do that for now and then a little stool okay why are you about to break is Harry joy deprived Okay. Get a horseshoe fit going real quick. Alright, make any stone blocks. Uh, really, let's do forever. Drop the radius. To like uh, something like that, I suppose. Uh, and then drop it on the floor. I do like this song, but it is funny that it's the battle music playing. <laughs> Stone cutting is considered construction. Oh, crud. We need that, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just kind of a waiting game right now, getting all this stuff set up. You're hauling everything. Which means you have nothing else to do for now. I guess that's fine. So just zoom in. 
focus on these blocks. Have them hauled. definitely need at least one more construction person pretty soon. Someone who, who's actually good at it. Keep on going. We need to get this food going ASAP. Okay, so let's get everyone over here so we can attack this wolf. Alright, um, fortunately, let's try something real quick. I don't have a butcher's table set up yet, nor like a building for it, but I suppose what I could do temporarily So that hmm. all right, so let's do this. Let's 
go a little bit more. Alright, uh, production. Now this is going to be temporary. Butcher's table. And... Oh crap. I guess we're going to have to use a fueled stove for now. To be honest, I like... I never use fueled stoves. <laughs> I really don't. Floors. Let's get some wooden floors so it's slightly cleaner. I do need to work on uh, electricity really soon. some renaming we need to do uh, and I guess I guess I can't rename everybody or rename the whole name I guess I had to do that at the very beginning all right so this is gonna be Probo uh, this is gonna be hope have everyone in okay so we got that out of the way um, yeah quick. There we go. Let's get this construction going. We're gonna be attacked here really, really soon. A uh, couple of these real quick. Butcher, butcher creature, do forever. Um, cooking's kind of, kind of up there. All right, but it looks like we're gonna get to it right away. Uh, let's just do simple meals. Do until you have ten. And one thing that was added uh, in recent updates, pause when satisfied. So you don't immediately restart something like, you know, once it hits nine, uh, then, you know, he'll start cooking again. With this, uh, it'll pause until it gets down to five and then he'll start making more. So I think that's gonna be good enough right now. Oh, and we need to set this to uh, drop. And I need to see where they drop this. All right, we have visitors. I'm not really concerned about it right now. Oh, and of course, 
construction is going to take precedence right now. Ugh. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's just drop that to two then. And we have friendlies. Uh, this means they're coming to help us fight, but... We're not fighting anything, so... Alright, so they're dropping the meals right here. So what we're gonna do... Whoops. We're gonna make a stockpile zone there. We're gonna make it low. And we're gonna make it for meals. So that way, when they drop the meals, uh, it's gonna count towards our total. And when we get to that total... Um, it'll be done. And then... It, or, I'm sorry, it'll be counted... That way we don't have to wait for this transport right here. Because otherwise, if no one's picking these up, you know, they'll make hundreds before anyone realizes. Oh, wow. We have exotic goods coming, but... We still don't have anything to trade with. So now I need to start worrying about where I'm going to put power. And I think right here is going to be a good spot to put power. So we're going to make a couple of wind turbines for now. And then what I like to do is I'll highlight those go to floors and we'll make floors in the whole area and that way you never have to worry about trees getting in the way growing fairly well. A manhunter pack of Yorkshire Terriers. Uh, just one. Okay. Oh. And before I forget, we are going to want to change this to attack. Because usually when they start fleeing, it's really annoying. So, I wonder if these guys are going to attack, too. Sorry, doggy. Oh, nice. They will. Oh, don't. Okay. I was afraid they were going to accidentally shoot them as well. Man, that's bad. Watch them work a little bit. Okay, so now that we have power, we'll go ahead, we'll deconstruct these. power. Um, actually, one thing I like to do is start with these as well. I 
We're gonna need a battery. Stone blocks. No, I can't do that. All right, we'll just kind of start with this right now. standing lamps, but this will be fairly temporary. Uh, so this can be deconstructed now. Um, and I think actually right now is a good time to stop, folks, so... Uh, here we go on this next one. I'm surprised we haven't been actually raided yet. It's going to be interesting. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.